Hi everyone, it's great to be with you. Um, if you're here because you're a member of the community of St Aldhelm, Costa for short, I'm sorry that we weren't able to meet this week, um, but I thought I'd try this new way of keeping in touch with, uh, with you whilst we can't meet as a community. If you're not already a member of Costa, welcome. It's great to have you with us. So we are a community of people who are seeking to follow God more closely by keeping to a rule of life, which is based around a daily rhythm of prayer and by exploring what it means to live more fully as a community, even though we aren't living together in a shared uh, community house. There are around 18 of us at the moment. Um, for the most part, we're members of Malmesbury Abbey, um, but we welcome anyone who would find this a helpful approach to strengthening their Christian discipleship or would like to explore their spirituality further in company with others and to be supported in a rhythm of daily prayer. I don't know how you're finding social distancing and self-isolation. I've been in isolation for just under a fortnight now in order to protect Nigel, who's my husband, um, as many of you know, he's very vulnerable in terms of health. And uh, when we first went into isolation, we thought we were slightly ahead of the game in taking that decision. Um, but in the meantime, the rest of the world's caught up. And so the government restrictions announced on Monday haven't really imposed any further restrictions on us than we were placing on ourselves. One of the things that uh, has surprised me about isolation is just how busy it is. Um, as the Abbey staff team have striven to rise to the challenges of doing church in a different way, I found myself in, self involved in all sorts of um, teleconferences, video meetings, WhatsApp groups and the like. Um, and I've actually been working quite long days to try to reconfigure the Abbey's admin systems uh, so that we can all work remotely. And that's been really challenging. I'm also trying to keep in touch with folk in Costa. I think so far I've managed to phone uh, about half of you. Um, I'm keeping, trying to keep in touch with people from the choir and also with some of the more vulnerable members of our congregations alongside my clergy colleagues, Mandy and Linda. One of the things that I found it really helpful is that morning prayer and evening prayer are being live streamed on Facebook, on the Malmesbury Abbey online page at 9am and 3pm each weekday. And that's really helping me to maintain a regular rhythm of daily prayer in the midst of all the busyness. And um, as mission enabler for North Wiltshire, I've also enjoyed joining in with the online services organised by other benefices in our North Wilts mission area. This week, I've been able to take part in morning prayer by telephone with the Braden Brook group. Some days I've tuned into Woodbridge's group morning prayer instead of the Abbey one. And this morning, I was able to lead that service on Facebook to give Steve Wilkinson, who's the incumbent there, a day off. And some nights I've also done Compline on WhatsApp with some of my fellow lay ministers from across North Wilts. And it'd be great to hear from you what you're finding helpful and sustaining spiritually in the season we find ourselves in. So lower down this page, you'll find one or two activities which you might find helpful as you reflect. Uh, one of these is linked to the Live Lent 40 Day Challenge that some of us have been following. And another is an examine exercise. We've done the examine several times before. Um, in the um, community at different times in the church year. This one is particularly um, aimed at helping us to self-reflect in the light of the coronavirus pandemic. I've also included one or two prayers based on this morning's psalms and a couple of pieces of music in different idioms that you might enjoy listening to. Do let me know by email or text how you're getting on and let's keep in touch and share our experiences with each other as much as we can. And just to finish, I want to share some reflections on today, which is the Feast of the Annunciation, when we remember, nine months before Christmas Day, appropriately enough, the visit of the angel Gabriel to the Virgin Mary. 
And so briefly, we take a detour from our Lenten journey towards Holy Week and think on the joy that attended Jesus' coming into the world. At morning prayer, instead of penitential psalms, we had psalms of praise and even the odd Alleluia or two. And our Old Testament reading was from 1 Samuel 2 and Hannah's song of praise that God had answered her prayer for a child. My heart exults in the Lord, sang Hannah. And she echoes some words from Psalm 113. He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ashes to set them with princes, with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a place in the house and makes her a joyful mother of children. Hannah goes one better. She says, the barren woman has born seven, but she who has many children is forlorn. And she goes on to say, he will guard the feet of his faithful work, his faithful ones. And that word was an encouragement to me this morning, um, as we're having to be so careful at the moment about where we go and what we touch. We're only allowed one walk a day. Nigel and I try and take our Boris walk um, after lunch. But Hannah reminds us that God is with us wherever we go, in whatever circumstances. And at the moment we may feel as if we're cast very low, but it is the nature of God to lift us up. But the psalm and Hannah's words also reminded me of how the hardest impact of the coronavirus epidemic is, is being felt by the poorest and most vulnerable in our society. People who have no home to self-isolate in, people for whom home is not a safe place to be. There are people without access to online shopping and home deliveries and all the other things that help to keep you safe. People who are without the resources to withstand the economic downturn. And so I wanted to end with a prayer based on Psalm 113. From the rising of the sun to its setting, we praise your name, O Lord. May your promise to raise the poor from the dust and turn the fortunes of the needy upside down be fulfilled in our time also as it was in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So God bless, and I'll look forward to talking to you again soon.